welcome to another exciting jam packed jam packed yeah, jam packed video we are painting reeds today as the title suggests um, there is a fair amount of time lapse in this because this video took pretty much a whole day's film um, but i'm just going to give you a few tips as we go so we are working on some of the darker areas here what I tend to do is, as in this clip, I'll use liquid um, and mainly black paint, but it's very, very watered down. As you paint it on, what tends to happen is it doesn't look black. It tends to just pick up the colours underneath it. So if you've got a green underneath, then it'll be a dark green, a brown, a dark brown. If you've got the yellow, it'll be a darker yellow. But it's just a very watered down black. And I might put a few other colours in as well, but that's essentially what it is. As you can see, I'm just putting in a rough suggestion of uh, reeds in, in this with the darker area. Uh, you don't have to be too clever about it. Once again, it's just the underpainting. You know, this, this bit won't really be seen or won't be noticed once the, um, the outer uh, reeds are put on. Now for the second layer, we are using sap green, um, Windsor lemon here. There's a touch of white in it as well. Um, that's about it, I would have thought for that. But, you know, we just, uh, we've got a decent consistency with this. Uh, you want the consistency, I, I would liken it, I suppose, to um, like a full fat milk. Um, so it's it's got a, a nice bit of flow to it. And um, even though it's quite watery, as you can see, it's still covering the darker colours underneath. So we're just going to continue over the whole area pretty much with that one colour. We're not going to change it too much, just kind of go over the top of it, keeping it the same. And then once that is done and it started to go off a little bit, started to dry, we'll then add a few more colours, we'll lighten it up a little bit and keep going over it again and again, basically, uh, until, it's, until it's finished. So there's the lighter colour. We're using pretty much the same colour and all I've done is I've just added a little bit of titanium white. Got to be careful you don't go over the whole thing. You're just trying to pick out certain areas, just areas where the light's just hitting it. Also noticed in the photograph that in the darker areas you've got some quite warm colours, you've got some um, more orangey browny colours, so I'm mixing that here. Um, and I've mixed that separately, so there's a fair amount of sap green in that. There's a, uh, just a smallest touch of titanium white, we want it to look transparent. There's um, cadmium yellow deep, I've used some uh, dioxin, not dioxin purple, so I've used some uh, cadmium orange in there as well. And it's just going to give you a little bit extra in the shadows there. So we just continue to build this up. So filling in all those dark areas. Another tip I forgot to mention is when you're when you're uh, painting reeds or grass or anything like that, if you want to get a nice thick coat, so you don't you don't want it to be too sort of watery and transparent, actually pick the paint up with the brush. So get that nice and watery, like that. And instead of just sweeping your brush into it, try and pick it up. So I go, what I do is I go sideways on, and I almost scrape it. Like this, so I'm picking it up and I twist it to get a nice point, and then 
scrape up some paint. So actually, I don't know whether you can see this, on the end of the brush,